I wanted to remind you of something. My beautiful ascending <laughs> fifth dimensional or aspiring fifth dimensional starseed family. Okay, I wanted to remind you of something here. Okay, so this is this is what it is. Oh, <laughs> whole bunch of people coming from the beach. This is what it is. Okay, so the third dimension is messy. It is so messy. Okay, if you're feeling out of control, emotions going up and down, if you're not feeling so divine, if you're feeling that you're not mastering life, that you are all over the place, that's what 3D is all about. It's mastering the mess by embracing it, being in it, <laughs> just trying to do your best, not being hard on yourself. That's how you master it. We tend to do that spiritual bypass. Hmm? You know about that? <laughs> I think we all do. And we cannot spiritually bypass the 3D experience. We came here for a reason. We wanted to be here. And the third dimension is dense. We are, yeah, this eternal divine being, the soul, merged with the 3D body, which is very dense, very physical, which has an ego, which has emotions going everywhere, which does not remember who we are and where we came from right? So it's going to be messy. And I'm in that mess every single day as well, especially when it's about relationships. <laughs> okay, you just cannot avoid the mess, the entanglement, the emotional upheavals, all those things that come with the relationships, all kinds of relationships, especially romantic relationships, the jealousy, the insecurity, all that stuff where you think, oh my gosh, but I'm a spiritual being. Why is this so messy? Why am I feeling out of control? Why am I feeling like a little girl, a little boy, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to think with emotions all over the place. That's just how it's going to be. So you might as well accept it. Okay. And <laughs> that thing that the Buddhists say that a lot of us spiritual seekers know we have to do, which is the letting go, the letting go. That's very hard. It's very hard as a 3D person. And I have actually decided to stop trying to be the fifth dimensional, you know, elated person who will stand above everything and who can just let go. I can't and I don't want to. In relationships, mm -mm. I'm entangled, I am needy. <laughs> when I love, I need that other person. I can't let go, I love deeply. And when it doesn't work, I'm heartbroken, right? Because I don't want to practice that art of letting go. This is a strange little alley. I'm going to the beach, you'll see the beach in a moment. It's the path from my place, my penthouse where I live, to the beach. <laughs> this is the pathway, so this is like, ooh, see the beach there. But, do you know what I mean? So, I've actually learned that I cannot let go in certain situations. And I don't want to, and I've decided that I can learn to not have to let go. So. Whatever relationship you are in, what, whatever entanglement you are in, just follow your own heart. Do what you can. And don't try to be too high and mighty on your spiritual high horse, you know, overcoming everything, floating above everything, because we are humans now. You are a starseed human at this moment. Do you understand that? You come from the stars, but... You are now here in this human experience and that makes us humans, okay? Starseed origin, presently human. <laughs> this is a star too, <laughs> okay? So, <sighs> humans do have egos and are very third dimensional still and are very needy and messy and with a lot of emotions, with deep emotional bodies. We humans have deep emotional bodies, right? No matter where you're from, 
no matter what, no matter what star you're from, now you have merged with a human divine blueprint on Earth. And that is just 3D and messy. That's just how it is. So the more you can accept it and embrace it and not try to fight it, the easier it'll be for you. So I'm embracing all of it. And I am deep, deep, deep in messy, entangled relationships. But you know what? I love it too. I love it because it's a human experience. It gives me the fullness of life. The love, the mess, the suffering, the heartbreak, the full heart, the empty heart, all of it. It's, it's what we're going through. That's, that's what we are. That's what we're doing. Ooh, look at this. We're coming to the beach here. I'll show you. I'll show you guys. Ooh, isn't that nice? This is like a restaurant, white Villa Blanca. This is Stanza Mare. Okay, this is Stanza Mare. And I'm going to the beach here. The sun is already setting, as you can see. So it's perfect timing for me to go swim without getting burned. The other day I got a little bit darker. See? Without being in the sun, trying not to be. Oh. This is where they've built up these places for that volleyball tournament I told you about. It's going on for two weeks. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, so my friends, I hope you know what I'm saying about that messy, third dimensional, entangled life. Okay, oh, of course. Usually I take my shoes off right there. <laughs> hey, yes! <laughs> okay, so. My friends, embrace the mess, embrace the heartache, embrace the love, embrace that when you are attached to someone, maybe you don't have to be non-attached. This non-attachment, I don't know where it comes from. Because if you are a human being that loves deeply, how can you just disattach from someone you love? I know that everyone teaches it, but I've decided that I'm not going to do it because I don't want to. Because if I love someone, I am attached to them and I want them and I need them. And if it doesn't work out, I will be heartbroken. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's how it is, my friends. Sorry about the wobbling, but I just thought I'd talk to you guys here. Ooh, look at this. Lots of people in the water. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it's time for my swim. And if the water is warm here, let's test it. Okay, my friends, let's test it. Let us test the water. Want to test the water with me? The temperature? Ooh. Ooh, it's nice, it's nice. The first moment is a little cool. A little, little cool. But oh yeah, I feel it, it's warm. It's warm. It's got to be perfect to be in there for like two or three hours. I'm telling you, I'm going in. I'm not coming out anytime soon. <laughs> Embracing ah, this beautiful, messy, human, third dimensional life. And the more you embrace it and go deeply into it and accept it, make peace with it, the easier it is and then you can enjoy all of it even the heartbreak because that's part of our human experience that's who we are we have deep hearts deep emotional bodies and we are allowed to hang on and love deeply and have our heart broken and move forward and love again we're allowed to do that so i'm giving you permission to be attached to hang on to fully live this human experience because I think it's a little bit of a false thing to try to detach and let go and force yourself to just leave and and to try to not feel. <laughs> Doesn't work. What do you guys think? What do you think? Am I totally wrong? <laughs> Anyways, love you. And I'll see you soon. Let me know down below what you think about this subject. All right. Ciao.